Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Roller Skates and I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center to do a really good quick and dirty video for you. This is for all those skaters who just got brand new skates. I don't care why you've come to skating. Did you get inspired by watching something on TikTok or some other social media? Did your friends get skates? Do you have an old pair of skates that you just finally found again in, in the garage or whatnot and you decided during these down times we're going to start roller skating then this video is for you these are three essentials that you absolutely need to know so that you can start skating and so that you can be successful okay so let's just get right into it we waste no time here in the quick and dirty versions of things first of all how do you stand on your skates you stand like a hooker i mean that in the best possible way when you stand up on your skates if you stand up nice and straight like this let me show you from the side if you stand up nice and straight like this and lock your knees plan on falling backwards what i need you to do when you stand on your skates and you get up and the realization that you have wheels on your feet and the fear starts kicking in is I need you to take this fun zone part of your body and push it to one side so you take your hips and you literally push them out cock them out to one side I need you to be leaning on your outside edge. If you're the first video and you don't know anything about edges, don't worry about it. You're going to hear a lot of it later. You need to be on the outside edge. That means the pressure of your body weight and your foot needs to be on the outside of your boot, on the outside edge of your wheels, okay? So right now, all my body weight is down and it's pushed over. I can put my hands on my hips, raise my chin, look around, act like I know what I'm doing. There's hardly any weight on this foot. Why? Because it's all over here. This will keep me from rolling forward or rolling backward. Okay, so everybody, let's do it with me. Just get up, put your hands on your hips and stand like a hooker. Okay, now how do we get rolling? I mean, just rolling. I can't, I know you're excited, but I can't have you just take off because I see this oftentimes. People put on their skates and then it's like this kind of thing. I can't have it. It's like taking off in a car. I need you to step on the gas ever so lightly. And this is how we're gonna do it. You're standing there in your hooker position and you're like, you're getting your, you're getting your, you're getting your courage up and you're looking around. You're thinking like, I hope not everyone's looking at me, but I hope someone's looking at me. You know how you have that going on? Put your feet in a V position, just like this, and lower these hips down. I want you to take your chest area and push it slightly over the top of your skates. Keep your chin up. For God sakes, do not look down. I can't have you skating like like this it looks crazy I need you to look straight ahead okay you're gonna put your arms down here roll your shoulders back so you're nice and comfy I need you to take four no less no more four little baby little step 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 steps okay it's gonna be like this you're gonna go left right left right that's it I need that little effort put into it that tiny amount of effort again Put your feet in a V position, sit your booty down, get your chest area over the top of your skates. Put your arms like this, chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks tight. I am have my weight on my right foot. I'm gonna transfer it to my left and I'm gonna go left foot, right foot, left foot, right, okay? When I do that, I put the weight on the ball of my foot. If I put the weight on my ball of foot, it gets the front wheels rolling. Again, checklist, chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks tight, arms out. Not too high, not too low, just like that. Sit your hips down, put your weight on your right foot, look ahead and go left foot, ball of the foot, right foot, ball of the foot, left foot, ball of the foot, right foot, ball of the foot, okay? Let's review, because <laughs> we're gonna add on. Stand here like a hooker. 
I got everything pushed to one side so I don't roll backwards. Put my feet in a V position, sit down just a bit. Put my arms out. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Go left, right, left, right. Oh my God, now you are rolling. My feet are straight ahead and I'm rolling. And it's like, now what? Now you need to go faster. Do you know how you go faster? You do not go faster by doing things like this. I do not need you walking forward. I also don't need big kickbacks. Again, I'm here to make you look good, but you gotta help me make it happen. Okay? Hooker. V. Drop it down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We go left, right, left, right. Now, step on the gas. When I say step on the gas, the only thing you need to do to get better or to go faster on skates is to bend your knees. Now, with my experience, I have found that when I tell someone to bend their knees, they go like this. No, bend your knees. I need you to bend your knees to the point where you feel like your knee is over the top of your skates. Again, chest over top, but bend it like you're stepping on the gas. Remember the ball of the foot? Press down, press down, press down, press down. Let's put it all together real quick. I get up off the floor. I stand here. Realistically here, I'm just, I'm just trying to get my nerves right. I'm just trying to work up enough courage to make sure I can do this. I'm trying to fight all my insecurities. I'm trying to say a little prayer so I don't die out here. You know, I get all that. So we're gonna just go through all that. Ready? You got it? Everyone get ready? Okay, we're gonna try here, right? We're gonna put our feet in a V position. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Baby, baby, baby steps. Step on the gas. Same amount of time. Pressure, force on each skate. It is imperative that there is the same amount of time and pressure and force on each side that creates natural momentum without you pushing. We never want it to look like you're actually trying to skate. We want the effortless glide that makes everyone look good when they skate. So let's try it again. And you're gonna think side to side to side. And let me just tell you this. Here's what needs to go on in your brain. I always think of it this way. There's this infinity symbol that goes like this. And you're going down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, and up. Everything in skating is down to hold an edge, up to do something different. Down to hold, up to do something different. Hugger, V, down. This is down, up, 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 down, up. Now we gotta stop, right? You're like, if I've gotten good enough already where I already know how to step on the gas and get rolling, now I need to stop. So let's do the very easiest form of stopping that I know for all of you. It's called a plow stop. This is going to require you to spread your legs, drop your body weight down. Okay, so you're gonna skate forward. You're gonna be up, you're gonna be down. You're gonna push it out and you're gonna be down. Now, for some of you, you may do exactly that. You may say, dirty, okay, I was up, and then I went down with my knees together, then I spread my legs, and then I went down and I did that little porta potty thing you talk about in those other videos, and all I did was roll. But I think, but did you gain speed? No, you're gonna roll to a stop. You're gonna roll to a stop, okay? Then I'm gonna have you apply the brakes. So it's gonna be up, down, push it out, drop your body weight, bring your skates in just a little bit and go chop, chop, chop. And then stand like a hooker. 
and then just wave to all the people watching you skate. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Wasn't that amazing? You're getting off the ground. Weight is on that outside edge. You do your prayers, light a candle, think happy thoughts, all that jazz, and you're like, I'm doing it. Put your feet in a V. Drop. Chin up. Shoulders straight across. Snacks tight. Arms out. You're going to five, six, seven, eight. Go left, right, left, right. Step on the gas. Drive it up. Drop it down. Push it out. Down, 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 down. Chop, 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 chop. Hey! All right, skaters. That's it. Those are the skills I need you to practice. Now, if you are like some of the people I know and you want a long, exhaustive uh, tutorial about everything I just did, I literally have videos on how stopping on roller skates, a whole playlist where for like a half an hour, <laughs> I can talk to you about how to do a plow stop and break it down. But what I'm really trying to get across in this video is these are the essential skills you need to know. How to stand, how to move forward, and how to stop. If you can get those three things, you're going to start off in skating and have fun. Now, that being said, if you just open up the box and you have your new skates, maybe you've even worn them a couple times and you're like, I don't know, I'm just not getting it. Watch my adjusting your roller skates video because I can guarantee you if they are factory tight right out of the box they're gonna be super hard to skate in you need to adjust them so watch that video okay skaters now just to let you know also this is a companion video meaning I'm gonna do the same exact skills and I'm gonna take them outdoors so we can see how these skills vary when we take it out on a different terrain all right so if you like this video of course you know give it a thumbs up please subscribe I got so much more information just ridiculously full in my brain about roller skating that I want to give to you so click the bell so that when the video comes out you'll know and you can watch it make comments I will try to communicate with you as much as I can so the next time you think I'm just too tired I don't want to go roller skating think about me and what would I say in response to that I would say I don't care I know it's good for you. I know it's going to make you feel better. Get those skates on. You put them on right now and you get your ass outside. Or you pull up that carpet. And for the person who asks me, is roller skating on my hardwood floors inside going to wreck my floors? Who cares? What a wonderful way to use your beautiful wood floors in your home. Just roller skate on them. And if a little damage happens, just let it know. It's all that fun you've been having skating on those floors. Best thing you can do, you should see the floors of my house. It's crazy. All right, you guys, go practice.